I believe in something different I'm Trying to change what I believe, yeah I believe in something honest oh, With the love that's guaranteed, yeah You've been trying to change where I belong But you can take me from my home That's where I'm from, yeah You've been trying to see a different side of me in the night Everybody, it's Kai welcome back to my channel and welcome welcome to a brand new speed build video and today we are going to be building a large family home in the world of new crest and it is the world that came with the base game so it is the world that um, you can create a lot of houses because it's an empty world but anyways this lot is a 30 by 20 lot and I believe it is called the hillside highlands I'm not so sure because I changed the info tab to large family home when I built this so uh, I might be wrong but I'm not sure myself but anyways this house can fit up to six sims and um, there are three bedrooms in this house one in which is the teenager daughter's bedroom the other one is a room shared between two kids, maybe a toddler and one like preteen. And the other one is the parents' bedroom. And also there are two and a half baths in which two bathrooms are upstairs and the half bathroom is on the ground floor of the build. Um, and I really like this build because I think it is my first time building a proper family home. Um, that looks kind of rustic but at the same time like country and this build is actually heavily inspired by Miss Sim Reno and I just discovered her she is such a great builder and her builds are awesome um, and I really like how she um, produces her content and I think it's a bit uh, similar to Simlacy but it is different in her own way but as you can see the structure of the build is pretty much um, already complete and for the color scheme of this build i decided to go with something neutral a pale yellow color for the top part of the build and a darker brown on the top i mean the bottom of the build um, and i initially wanted to go for a green color or a pale green color to just to make it look more homey um or i think i use the i tried to use the color swatch from the base game but i ended up changing it to a different color just because I wanted it to make it look rustic and I think I aced that by the way um, but before we get further into the build don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't um, and comment what your favorite part of the build is that is if you want to um, but as you can see for the uh, structure it's already complete and for the fourth plan um, it was really easy for me to work things out because I'm not really good at floor plans as you think I am um, but I think I managed to do it quickly for this build because I already pictured what I wanted to do for the floor plan and how many bedrooms it has and it's not so large as you think I mean it is a three bedroom um, house but I wanted to call it a large family home because I think it looks large and can fit a huge number of sims in this um, build and I think I said it before but I'll say it again the number of sims that can fit in this build is um, up to six sims five to six sims um, depending on you and I really hope you guys like it um, and if you choose to download this gallery I mean this gallery what am I talking about I mean um, if you choose to download this build it is already up in the gallery under my ID which is Simmerkai um, and you can check out the details in the description if you're not sure how to spell it but as you can see I'm working on the landscaping the landscaping is pretty much simple and I use a lot of debug items for this build and I'm pretty happy with how I use the debug items because I never really use um, landscaping from the debug menu but I think I think there are a lot of debug um, landscaping items for this build. As you can see, I put those debug fences that came with the base game debug menu and also a couple of plants um, that are in the debug menu. And I think it is my first time using that um, potted plant you see. Um, and I didn't really know what to fill in the space between the um, the opposing uh, bushes that you see. So I ended up putting a couple of plant boxes and just to make it look more filled in instead of it just being empty but for the terrain paint i also use a lot of terrain paint for this build um especially for the back because the grass on this um um lot looks very much simple so i ended up like using the terrain paint i think it's a grass swatch terrain paint 
and I just filled it up a bit randomly to make it look more like natural because right now it looks really empty and looks really just plain one color so I ended up putting a little bit of texture in there using the grass terrain paint I, I really I like how it turned out um, but as for the backyard the backyard is pretty much simple I put in a swing set in there and also a um, sitting area and there is no I think I didn't put towels for this backyard but like I said I used the terrain paint to put in a bit of texture and I really like how it turned out because it kind of looks cozy but at the same time it looks um, rustic a bit and also like um, like a proper home instead of it being like um, tiled up for the ground I mean the flooring so it kind of looks natural in my opinion but do let me know what you guys think in the comments of course um, but for the interior I actually um, did it twice because the first time I did the interior I wasn't really happy about how I put things and what colors I use so in the end I redid the interior for the ground floor um, that is before I proceeded to do for the next floor um, but you can see that this stair over here is actually awkwardly placed in in the um, entry of the build but I think it it, in the end it worked out fine because I wasn't really happy with the space next to it and I didn't really know what to put there so I ended up putting a I think a side table from the paranormal stuff back and also a like coat hanger coat hanger not sure what you call it but with the hat over there and also ended up putting a coat rack and the entryway is pretty simple there is a um, like cupboard next to the stairs and I've never done this before and I saw Miss C. Marino did it so I decided to try it and I hope you guys will like it um, but it is something different to me because I in personally myself don't really do family homes like this type of family home if it were a family home it would look a bit different um, but I think I aced it for this one but for the um, living room over here, for the first time I did the interior, I used the couches from the cats and dogs pack but I wasn't really happy with the colors that I used for them because they kind of look dull and also like just bland and just like doesn't look lively um, in my opinion. So uh, for the second time I did the interior, I used the parenthood pack. Um, couches and when I play tested this build oh yeah talking about play testing this build there is a mirror upstairs that you might have to move around um, for the teenage daughter's bedroom because um, when I wanted to do the machinima she couldn't access the mirror so I had to like uh, change it up a bit but I think I did that after I uploaded it to the gallery um, but as for the couch over here when I did the machinima the father and the daughter of this family, um, when I was done doing with the machinima, they ended up being at the back side of the couch and couldn't access to go to the campfire for example. Not campfire, fireplace. Um, so I think you might have to move the couch also, um, but I'm not entirely sure because I just built this house randomly and I have uh, another house planned for um wait what day is it today it is a friday so this build will be up um on tuesday if i'm not mistaken but as for friday's build i think i will be doing another family home but it is a base game only and a starter home so it might be a bit different and a bit dull looking but i really hope i can do something nice about it um but i'm really trying to expand my content because i've never done base game only family homes or starter homes for this channel so i wanted to try something new um but back to this build anyways um you can see that i'm working on the half bathroom right now and it is on the ground floor of the build and it is pretty much simple there is just plain wallpaper that i use for the base game i think overall the wallpapers that i use the swatches the um there is only parenthood and base game so the uh, kitchen over here consists of the parenthood pack and for the paneling you see with the plain color swatch it is from the parenthood pack although i believe there is the same swatch um, i mean the type of wallpaper from the base game so i ended up doing that for the top level because um yeah i think it is pretty much the same in the sense but it not because there are limited colors um but anyways this is going to be the kitchen and the kitchen is one of my favorite parts of this build because i think i managed to clutter it up pretty well 
um, and it looks really nice in my opinion where I use the colors, um, the wooden wood tones and also some blues in it um, and is um, the behind the kitchen part is going to be a garage and the garage is of course functional but it is not because you cannot like drive a car I mean you cannot make your sim drive a car in there so I ended up um, placing a couple of storage units in there instead and also a bicycle in there just to make it look like a proper garage and also looks like a proper family home. But before this, I don't think I've ever done any garages before even though it, it looks like a garage but it's not, it's like a fake garage. Um, but anyways, behind this kitchen also is a small dining area and there are a total of two dining areas for this build in which one of it is a formal dining area or a dining room and the other one is over here behind the kitchen where I imagine um, like when the mother sim cooks or something the other sims can maybe hang out and chat at this uh, particular area and it is a small area and I wanted to actually squeeze in a larger table but it didn't fit and I wanted to make sure that it was fully functional so I think this is functional um, except for maybe you have to move the cupboard you see I placed just now um, and I paired the cupboard with a um, framed picture I think it's from I'm not sure I think it's from backyard stuff um, but it is quite tiny but maybe you might have to move things around but I didn't fully playtest this build because I wasn't feeling like it um, but I playtested the bedrooms upstairs and they work perfectly fine as for the bottom, I mentioned just now about the living room and also the kitchen might have a bit of problem so you might have to move the cupboard for all three of the um, chairs to be um, filled in with sims. But anyways, this particular area over here is going to be the common area and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put for this area simply because it's too large of a space so I ended up putting a couple of bookshelves in there that I used from the think kids room stuff or toddler stuff it probably is from kid, kid room stuff um, and I used it just to fill up the space and I actually um, wanted to put in a couple of armchairs for that uh, space just now but I didn't manage to do so because I thought that it looked a bit too messy um, but anyways this area over here is going to be the study room and the study room is pretty much simple cluttered up with books and I imagine that um, one of the sims of the family members they are into research or into reading so they have their own private nook not nook it is a room a private room for reading but any sim can access that of course um but for the dining area just now it is just simple and i think it is one of the least decorated places because i ended up just putting a picture of i think of um, some scenery from the cats and dogs pack um, but now we are going to move on to the top level of the build which is the second floor and it's the second floor where there are the bedrooms on it and for the entryway or hallway over here I decided to clutter it up with uh, kids clutter because I imagine that um, the kids here they are like all over the place um, so they end up messing up the whole area but over here we are starting off with the kids bedroom and the kids bedroom consists of a toddler bed and a normal child bed um, and I think I cluttered it up with a lot of toys but for the um, table I left it a bit empty for your sims to do their homework in case it didn't work um, but for the hallway just now when I play tested this build also I think you might have to move the kids clutter instead and I put that for decoration purposes only so if it doesn't work and your sims cannot access the space you might have to move that as well but for this room I think I decorated it pretty well but it's pretty like basic in my opinion because I don't really know how to decorate a kid's room um, and it is one of my least favorite things to do when I build or furnish this um, type of build where there are kids rooms um, but I just did my best and I really hope you guys will like it um, I also ended up putting that notebook over there um, which is kind of like illogical since the kids are just starting off with school um, but anyways this bedroom is over here is going to be the teenager's bedroom and I imagine that the teenager that is over here she is really like 
she's really like into art or into pop culture so I ended up putting a lot of makeup and I also ended it in a mirror I mean I ended up putting a mirror um, where I mentioned just now that you might have to move the mirror for your sim to access this particular space um, and also that bed you might have to shift it a bit to the left because when I play tested it also my sim couldn't access the mirror so you might have to shift it a tiny bit then it will work perfectly I'm, I can guarantee you that um, but it's pretty much simple as well there's a lot of like frame decorations and also a lot of colorful items uh, for this uh, for the teenagers bedroom but anyways this um, bedroom over here is going to be the parents bedroom and I wanted to squeeze in a couple of side tables for the beds but it was too big so I ended up using a counters from the uh, parenthood pack which are the top shelves and I think they look pretty brilliant in this case because it kind of looks like side tables just a bit longer but just the right size and I also ended up putting a bookshelf in here because there was a lot of space that I could deal with so I decided to squeeze in a bookshelf and also a wardrobe dresser over here with the seasons mirror on top of it and I think I might have like I would have like if I can rebuild this house I would have changed the mirror to a lower level because I think it is fixed to one position I'm not sure but yeah anyways um the the bathroom for the um build is pretty much the same all over the build so it's kind of like the same swatches and also the same type of mirrors that I use and also the bathtubs and also I squeezed in a couple of washing machine and dryer over here um, but as for the kids bathroom I put in a more livelier bathtub and I also put in some drawings and also I think a measurement chart a height measurement chart um, next to the door after this um, but it is more decorated because it is a kids bedroom bathroom and I imagine that the kids they maybe doodle on the wall or something but where is going to be the backyard and the final part of the house I ended up um, putting a lot of trees for this build and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out because it kind of looks cozy and a bit more like family like instead of it just being bare but i really hope you guys like this build um and if you do like this build please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel because we are approaching these screenshots right now so i really hope you guys like it in case um you have any suggestions please let me know and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye